Super Mobile. Welcome back, everyone. We're back with some more Dwarf Fortress. And we're going to be going back into Kashan Ramal, the Flames of Euphoria. This is our uh, dented shield doing the uh, revitalizing of the palace of stabilizing uh, in the Godly Fire Volcano. Uh, and just having a quick overview of everything because it's been a couple months since I've been on this playthrough. Uh, life has been life, as it will be. Uh, we are right down here, if you recall, from the first, uh, I guess, the first season of this uh this series we've been building this volcano down here we are surrounded by evil and hatred of all sorts our actual hometown is way up here uh or surrounded by a lot of friends but they dug too deeply and too greedily and got themselves burnt out and all this jazz uh this is a human ham uh, hillock and a dwarven hillock oh that is oh who is this hold on Who's this? The Mischievous Channel. Okay. That's uh, these guys over here that have reclaimed one of our previous locations. Uh, Wheels Pleated is one that I'd love to reclaim someday. Um, the Tombs of Counseled, Dwi Counseled Wish. Okay. Don't remember that one, but there is also uh, the Capital, or the Old Capital, which is the Hillock of Glaze Fainted. Uh, it's now no longer the Capital, because the cap King has moved right down here to our civilization uh we can look to the palace of stabilizing and we have the king celeb edudin yes that's right and uh, moses is our uh, duke um we got uh dut uh, baroness of glazed fainted is aban the baron of uh squash banners and the baron of wheels pleated uh, are both here and are wheel is wheels pleated even existing well, it says it isn't but hmm interesting um the baron of squash banners but you're not a baron of our civilization and this one shows empty interesting well i'm not messing around with that right now right now what we do have is a bunch of elves nearby and a bunch of humans nearby that don't like us uh we also have this uh dwarven tower up here this is a necromancer tower up here all nasty and horrible there's a bunch of goblins uh, into the north not a bunch there's a few goblins right here uh, nestled near close nestled near close in their dark pits and there's a bunch more up here our primary uh, enemy is probably going to be humans and elves in the uh close proximity here but we are going to continue things as we were back in the fortress uh but a quick look through we have civil in our civilizations we do have uh shields and bucklers and crowns being requested uh by the merchants and then we do have uh remember the the biggest menace that we have is from underneath the rodent man civilization which has been definitely the most kills that we've or most deaths that we've seen as well as uh the most uh rage that has been caused uh was from them so we're back here at the uh at the mouth here of the godly flame which is the name of our volcano and uh, this is our entryway we do have our lovely silver streets and our silver definitely super safe to walk out on a uh, bridge uh with a lever over somewhere it's over here i think mm -hmm. <laughs> silver lever probably that's the one this one is the microcline bridge and this lever here is for the silver bridge is this named silver bridge it is uh let's name this the um offering bridge there you go and then that should have renamed it linked here lovely and this is the um main gate there we go and that should be linked now with this one it is good okay we've got a trade depot we got some uh, different armor and such stocks in there we'll deal with all that anything that's changing this is our main trade goods uh biggest note of difference is and you see in the top left here we have this little df hack symbol on i finally broke down and i got df hack and started learning it part of the reason why it's been so delayed getting back to this is that i wanted to take some time to learn how it works i ran a number of uh well i ran a little bit of stream stuff and i ran a number of tests on my own uh on my own time to deal with learning how these things work looks like we do have enough water that we uh, refilling that we could use this repeatedly when we need to so that's good to know um we set up this strange waterway that is turned out to be basically of no use to us yet that's down here 
Uh, I'll deal with that very shortly. We'll get this thing built. Uh, we'll leave it. I, I unsuspended it. It was suspended. We'll get this uh, screw pump built. The reason is I want to take all this water and I want to pump it into here as much as we can to flood this so that this starts getting this uh, cave moss and lichen and fungus in the floors so that we can get the mole peoples uh, being uh, trained up in here. Uh, oh yes, our buckets for our uh, various different works that we've been doing for our waterworks. Uh, we do have, remember, our cave crocodiles. We'll look through the animals first. We've got our cave crocodiles up here. We're going to be dealing with the, the animals very soon, very aggressively. We are going to be using the auto butcher feature. In fact, I believe I did turn it on and set it up. Uh, let's look at the GUI for auto butcher. So we just go up here, we use the DF hack tool. I'm not going to go through tutorial stuff on this, but this is the auto butcher uh, uh, watch list. So let me actually close out of here for a minute. Uh, how do I do that? Um, how do I leave this? Hmm. Oh, right click. Okay. Uh, let's go to DF hack, go to the GUI launcher command, and then you're going to look, type up in here for the things that we want. We want auto butcher. And it's going to start filtering on the right here. So select that. And then when we've got stuff typed up here, if it is a proper usage command, we can type it. So this is an in-game interface for Auto Butcher, which allows you to set thresholds for how many animals you want to keep and will automatically butcher the extras. So hit extra, brings up this Auto Butcher list, watch list. So once you've got it started, you've got it started. So down here we can hit, uh, well, I guess it was... Was it capital A? Yeah. Capital A to start auto butcher. Then it's going to give, it's going to parse all the information of all the animals we've got. So the uh, left column shows the ones that we actually have. The right column shows the max that it's supposed to keep. I've adjusted some of these numbers. So we got uh, a dozen female dogs and eight male dogs, adults to be kept. When it's over that number, it'll choose the oldest ones first and butcher them. It won't butcher any, um, any, uh, not named ones, but any pets, it won't include those in the butchering in here. Uh, but any other dogs and whatnot will be will be culled to those numbers. The On the children category, it's actually going to, um, it's going to butcher, actually, I really don't think I want the, let's, let's up these numbers to 12 and 8 as well. Uh, so I would select the category I want, dogs, and hit F, lowercase f and lowercase m for the females and males of the kid variety and then the adults so if it needs to butcher in this case uh, we'll hit f and it'll set it from 6 to 12 for the females so now there's one over which means it's going to try to butcher one female dog it chooses that based on the youngest uh, the youngest pet or uh, the youngest kid possible in that category Okay, and then we'll go with uh, M and we'll go with six for the males. I want the dogs to, to go to adulthood and then to be butchered uh, on that category. Now, I don't know if it does war dogs in this case. I'm really not sure if war dogs are counted. If they are, then cool. I'm not really that concerned about it. We haven't used them very much, but let's look at pigs. Good example. We have four female kids. Uh, sorry, we have two female kids. We're allowed to have four before they auto butcher, so they won't butcher any, but they're going to butcher five male pig uh kids they'll butcher the youngest first and then they'll go to the adults now we don't get much out of the kids so it's going to always butcher the youngest one first to maintain the numbers um but so that they get a chance to become adults and then with the adults it'll butcher the oldest ones first so they have a longer time of productivity so we're about to get a absolute crap ton of meats and stuff much of it i'm sure will go to waste that's gonna have to be fine the naked mole dogs again are 12 12 6 and 2 because they're going to be a meat producers and a leather producers so we want the babies to grow up to adulthood similar with the pigs uh, we also do milk those so they get we get milk of those i don't know about the mole dogs for milking um it looks like we do have rabbits but those i think are all pets so i'm not sure how that's going to work i think it counts the animals the pet animals but it doesn't butcher them i hope it doesn't butcher pets so hopefully that's set right. We'll find out mm, soon, I guess. Uh, so a ton of dogs over here. This is all of our massive supplies of food leftovers. We have 3,681 food. We have 500 drink. We have way more than we need. We have zero ducks in here. Where did my ducks go? Why do I have no ducks? Oh, that's right. We do have the Titan out front, too. Uh, we do, I've, I've uh, noticed watching some of Quill's stuff. Uh, I don't know if he's figured it out yet, but when you try to trade a caged animal, it doesn't trade the cage and the animal in it. It trades the animal. 
You have to trade just the cage. Move that to the depot. Otherwise, uh, they'll take the animal out. And if it's something like a Titan, he'll go rampage. Uh, where are the the ducks? Why is our why is our duck running around out here? Do we have anybody assigned to the? We don't. Did I move our ducks? Oh my goodness! We've got like goblins trapped. Look at the rodent men traps. Look at them all. These are all rodent peoples. Uh, why do I have no ducks? Hmm. I'm a, I'm a little more than a little confused about that. I like that we got the rodent men statue there with the dwarf statues and the and the statues of whatever these are. These um, humans. <laughs> some of these are heroes. Some of them are targets. Uh, where are my ducks? I really don't like the fact that all the ducks are gone. Did I do something wrong with that? Did we, did the auto butcher auto butcher all our ducks? One duck, two ducks. Uh oh. Did I oops on the auto butcher? I I think something went wrong on the auto butcher. Are, are all of our ducks named ones? All right, we have some humans that were trapped. Yeah, I, I am really concerned about this. Where did they go? Are all the... Oh, there they go. There they are. Where are you guys? Um, Where are you and why are you not here? I'm sure I had them somewhere else, right? Maybe I just didn't didn't put them in there. These will auto these will start auto butchering uh, at some point. I gotta check that auto butcher feature for the animals. So this is our first task of the day, of course, is the auto butcher stuff. Obviously, as you can tell, uh, auto butcher GUI, please um, bring that up. Where are my ducks? Hmm. It says we only have one female. It says we have seven. Oh. Wait. Um. I mean, realistically, I probably shouldn't need to watch the ducks, but why do I have three butchering orders put in? Well, I think we'll. They'll probably just. They're probably just scattered around. So I'll let them sort that out. I'm not going to fuss any longer about that. I'm going to try not to overly fuss about certain things. Um, we've got, like, animals that'll need to be butchered here that are, like, one ofs, you know, alpacas and stuff, but the cow can probably go because it's not, you know, it's not uh, a pet or anything, and we're not, like, setting up a breeding stock of those, so I'm okay with letting that go, but... Um, can I actually uh, set that in here anywhere? I guess I can't, can I? Hmm. Um. Maybe not. Let me let me check for that. Uh, let's go. Do we go profession? Maybe profession. Let's look for a cow. Cause I really don't want the cow. Actually, what I can do uh, instead is go with that the auto butcher again. Uh, where is it? Launcher, auto butcher, and let's find cows. Cavies, I don't care. I think they can all be butchered. Um, what is it to set them all? Set whole row, shift R, to zero. Now, I don't think it'll butcher... I, think the, or, I don't know why the orange is there, but I don't think it'll butcher the, uh, the pets. Alpacas... Shift R, zero. Good, okay, that's the same sort of thing. Rabbits, I want them at zeros. Turkeys, zero. Okay, that's better. Cows. Good, guinea fowl as well. What else? We have goats here, jeepers. We have a lot of animals I did not know about. 
Chickens can go as well. Now, I, I hope it doesn't butcher people's pets and get them crazy angry. If that's the case, that would be really, really crappy and dumb. But I'm pretty sure I've got that set right. I just don't want to spend all day doing that. So our, we got our uh, very poor Miss Generator puddle dance party, whatever, going on there. Um, we do have some our hospital right up here. The... Uh, uh, basic training uh, barracks over here. We got our archer training up to the north. This is the main uh, tavern and it continues in the south portion of the tavern down here. More of the dance floor area. Uh, and this is kind of more the diner and uh, musical whatever place. Uh, and then we continue down. No, we continue upstairs. We've got the basic, this temple is a basic temple to the uh, the Sanctuary of Whispers, which is a uh, no particular deity, so it doesn't show how many worshippers we have. It's under 2,000 quality. We'll have to tidy that one up for sure. Uh, on the right, we have the big old temple that's the amb Ambiguous Heart. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is dedicated to the Sable Diamonds with 78 worshippers. We have 138 people and 78 of them are followers of this. This is a temple complex valuing at 58,550. It's a really bloody big unit. <laughs> we have no instruments there, so we definitely need to do that. We need to get some instruments, instruments, and we need to get some chests. I'm going to actually go ahead and get that done. Um, instruments and chests. Let's go with furniture. And I'm going to go chest. We'll see the first thing here up here in the top right is the show um, show planner. So we can basically do auto planning. So I could tell them to put, to build uh, chests. I can tell them what sort of uh, material to use it out of. Uh, if, I'm, if they're building walls, for instance, generic material, don't use logs, don't use boulders, just use blocks, that sort of thing. We can choose the type of material that they're going to make the item out of and whatnot. So that'll be more... Uh, used when I'm doing an any box. See that was saying up here? Current filter, any box. So if I use that and I just place it down, it'll just pick any chest it can wherever, for whatever filters fit, and just throw it in there. I it can shut the planner off like that and select as normal, which is great because it doesn't lose that. This is the same standards as normal. So I'm going to go ahead and in here and we'll put down some, uh, some chests. Let's put uh, one here. Um, let's go with some granite ones. We don't need any spectacular value out of these. I just want to have some uh, some in here like this. So we have a few because it, it's something they've requested. So that would be good. And then we can build some instruments. I believe that's under furniture. Yes, instruments. Uh, oh, instruments don't have a planner mode. That's interesting. Um, all right. What, what do we have for instruments that we could place? Oh my goodness, look how many we've got. The Alnus is a, a... It looks like a gong. So we'll put that down. Uh, we'll put another one uh, here of some sort. Let's put this uh, piano-ish looking thing. Harpsichord looking thing down here. That sounds great. Uh, let's put another instrument in here. Ooh, the... Uh, um, yak bone one, sure. And another instrument right by it here. Uh, with another one of these. Good. I don't, they don't care what they are particularly, but uh, we'll put them in. Now, these ones right here are underneath, uh, weren't smoothed underneath, and I wonder if we can do the smoothing at this point. I don't think we can. I think we have to remove those things in order to smooth under them, so not a vitally important thing. What were we doing here? Gold bars for some reason, huh? Again, I don't remember why, so I'm not going to fuss with it, but that's the uh, temple to the, um, that's the Temple to the Sable Diamond. If you look in here, if we go over here, and we were to click the plus, actually, and we can choose a new temple. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to back out. But I want to look through because we have uh, the Ooze the Abyssal. Uh, that's five worshippers. Sky, Star, Nights, Dreams, and Nightmares. Interesting. Uh, eight worshippers for fishing and hunting. Eight worshippers for gambling in the moon. Six for mountains. Uh, we got uh, Sirab, Copper Glow, the Heated, the Heat something or other. Uh, Earth, Volcanoes, and Fire. I think with 10 worshippers, we'll give that person, or that god one. Uh, 7 for Wealth. 78 for Jewels. Death, War, and Chaos is 6. I'm not going to do that because then there'll be more people into that stuff. Uh, there's also Fortresses, Tossed. So I think Tossed and, and there's more down here. There's a bunch more. Um, one, one, one. Just looking through the numbers on the right. Not a lot of uh, attendees to these other uh, deities. That's all right. 
Yeah, so Tossin will get a um, a temple next, and uh, Sirab Copperglow will get a temple. And I think we'll do one. Oops, we'll do one here, and we'll do one up here. And that'll be awesome. I'm gonna go back and cancel that change because I don't want this converted. I do always want to have a temple to the whoever to the everyone here, so anybody can worship when they need to. Got to clean up all these floors and everything. The value over here is absolutely trash. I think it's, yeah, it's only 1,300, whereas this one's 58,000. So continuing up, we do have the uh, basic, some basic uh, guild rooms, I believe these are, right? Yes, these are the guild halls, some of which were properly assigned to make people happy. Some of them ticked everybody off because they took forever to do it. That's okay. They're all set to only uh, citizens to, can use these, which is kind of where I want this. 23 members of the Farmer's Guild. This one has uh, 11 members of the Stoneworkers Guild. Down here, we have 20 members of the, the Hall of Turquoise, which is the Metal Smiths, uh, was it Metal Smiths Guild? Metal Smiths Guild. So that covers all the metal works areas, categories rather. And the Crafts Dwarfs uh, have 17 in the construct Constructive Company, which kind of makes sense. This needs to be fixed. Uh, it's been, I, I butchered it. I'm sorry, I totally butchered it. I get it. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll fix this up so this is the pattern. Let's go ahead and get this done right now, actually. So I need a wall there, wall there, and wall there. And then this wall needs to be removed. So we'll go and we'll cut that out. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this wall goes... Uh, why is that not... Like that, that works. And that. So those were excess, those tiles, for sure. Uh, and I will go ahead and smooth... Um, standard smooth priorities, that, that, we'll do that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one over there. I think I can get to those from that angle. We will be putting more flooring in here. That's okay, though, for now. Uh, floor, or walls in here. I would like this to use specifically. Oh, I wonder if we're short on the quartzite. I bet you we are. Uh, quartzite. Quartzite blocks, 38. That's fine. Um, there. Like that. That will cover the pieces we need. And that one in there for quartzite as well. Good. Now that'll sort those out. I'm going to suspend these front ones so that they are uh, they have access to smooth in the back for now. Got other plans coming, but we'll do these for now. Um, quartzite floors we can put in. Uh, that's B and F. I'm going to put one in there. And Q. What I can actually do is show this, show the planner here. So I'll go to this. We do have this set to blocks only. So if I put in quartzite here, they're only going to go with the 33 quartzite. And that's 33 quartzite blocks. Any building material of quartzite. Um, and that will only put in blocks. So then uh, we got that set. This is flooring, so I can actually go like this, and I can paint out chunks like that. Isn't that great? I love this planner. Um, that as well, there as well, and there. Good. Wonderful. So it'll plan all that in for us. There'll be a few missing holes at some point. That's fine. Uh, so those those definitely need some more TLC. They got a lot of issues. So do a lot of our people. A lot of social issues. And uh, I'm going to have to just focus on a couple things, and we'll get to that shortly. That'll be the uh, priorities. Our uh, water generator up here. Each of these produces 100. Each of these wheels produces 100. These things take 20 to operate. So we have a... Uh, 400 plus, um, and then we've got, uh, does this guy take any to function? I don't remember if the gear assemblies take any. Uh, but our whole network has 220 needed of 400. Well, in order to do future projects, I'm definitely going to want more of this. Uh, and we'll sort that out when we get there. This is the uh, generator for this thing. We'll probably take this out when I replace it with a better version at some point. But uh, our, our current system is working over here, so I'll, I'll leave that entirely alone. Let it keep doing its thing. We could use some more water in it, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's doing somewhat the job that it's supposed to do. Um, I think uh, that, yeah, that'll cover everything there for that section. And then everything up here is just future 
future things. We're not going to mess with any of that right now. We've got a bazillion other problems to deal with. So that's bringing us back down. This brings us back down to the main floor. We go down. We got our pond that they're playing in. Our carpenter's shop is uh, empty of carpentry supplies. Uh, we don't. We've got lots of things built that our carpenter needs to build, but we don't have any wood for him to build new stuff. Uh, we got the stones in here. So part of the problem. Without uh, part of the problem that DF Hack's going to help us solve is instead of having uh, two, you know, twenty beds made ahead of time, we're going to have two or three beds made ahead of time, and then we'll have we'll be able to place all the beds in, for instance, a bedroom set. We'll be able to go like in here and we place all the beds, and they'll go in as planning mode, right? If I do BFB for beds, and I place in uh, the beds, which would be back corner opposite the door so i go like that and then when it runs out of beds to place right now it's just placing any beds when it runs out of beds to place what's going to happen is it's going to go into a little um uh, can i do this now yeah it's not it's not needing to be carved out or it's not needing to be um uh what's what's the word uh where they gra engraved it doesn't need to be engraved uh, for these basic beds. So if I do this, what's going to happen is they're just going to fill all these beds and eventually, oh, I guess I was expecting it to actually hit that stage, that eventually, uh, but it didn't yet. This is, we still, if it's not, because there's no, like, there'll be a little white clock over it when we run out. So apparently we've got them all. Oh, there's another batch over here, so we'll be able to fill these. Um, and this will get us, make sure everybody's got beds. And I'm sure we have some people without beds, so... Oh, there we go. You see how the uh, little little hour clock a clock hand thing appeared there? That means that we have spots that are missing beds. If we want to adjust this, one of the things DF Hack lets us do is change the priority. So this is one bed. Position in line is seven. This one up here is ten. It bases on when you place them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel these ones. Uh, do I do that with the erase? No. Do I do that with this? I forget. No, uh, there's another, there's another command for canceling. Clear. Um, is it clearing? I might have to look this up. Um, is it cancel? There's a way to cancel orders. No. Um, I right, I'll, I'll figure it out, or somebody can let me know in the comments. But there's like cancel construction. I, because they're they're actually placed constructions like this, I have to select them, just like I would any normal construction. There is a uh, command that lets us cancel mass cancel constructions. Maybe it's under mass. Maybe it's uh, you just got to know the the. Unfortunately, you got to there it is mass remove. There it is. So mass remove. Uh, it says uh, mass select buildings and constructions to suspend or remove. This tool lets you uh, remove buildings and constructions or suspend unsuspend construction jobs using the mouse driven uh, box selection. Following marking modes are available. Suspend the construction the planning is building is suspended. Remove um, unsuspend. Remove construction designated construction wall floor etc for removal. So that's not going to work. Um, I, I want it to be buildings. All right, well, we'll see what this does. If I do that, oh, there we go. Uh, buildings, remove, construction, leave alone. Ah, okay. Leave alone, constructions, remove. No, buildings, this way. Suspend, leave alone. So if I had, um, if I do this, it's not going to remove any. So the remove is building. Leave alone is construction. If I do this, then does that remove it? Oh, that's not a construction. That's a smooth wall. Right. So if I had a wall to remove, and I'm going to do it just back here as just a test. Um, that's odd. I wish that was a... Um, I wish that was a way to make that so that I could... There's got to be a hotkey for it. I'll figure that out, but... Uh, so it's just under mass, mass remove. Um, okay. So what I want is an enter on that. Designate multiple buildings and our constructions built or planned for removal. So if I do this, it's going to remove that wall. Nope. Now it will. Yes. Okay. So that's construction. 
Gotcha. And then I can just, uh... Um, why can I not select that? Oh, erase. Use the eraser to re remove that option. Okay, no problem. So now I know how it works. Uh, so if we do need to, like, if we put, place down a bunch of beds and stuff, and we're like, oops, I want to remove them. Or if I want to clean underneath, for instance, up in this place, I could do this. So I could say, uh, um, I could bring this up and find that mass remove. GUI. And then I say I want instructions to be left alone, suspended to be left alone. I want to remove these. Like that. See? And then I could carve underneath them. So that, that would let me do that sort of thing. I'm going to cancel that job. Oh, I did not. Oh. I see. I, I am going to cancel that. But uh, that's that's the idea. I don't want them focusing on, on that random projects yet. So I haven't unpaused yet today. It's, this has been this has been wholly paused the whole time. We do have a, a number of uh, people hanging out doing other, various different things. Mostly, the focus is the fact that we have our our, our negative score is nine, ten, twenty five. We got to try to move this nine and ten up to the positive wherever, whenever possible. And for those who are not too far gone in the twenty five outrage category, we're gonna try to salvage them as well. But. There's a thousand things we can do for that and and a very, very finite amount of time to have it happen. So uh, we have a billion things. I literally have, look, listen to me wrestle them. I've got five pages of notes here, uh, given they're like a three by eight vertical sheet, but it's like five pages of bu bullet point notes for the work on. So uh, the we'll get to, we'll get to all of that very soon. The smelters down here are doing a bunch of things we will tend to shortly. Um, as long as these beds are placed over here, at least somebody, if somebody needs a bed, they can, they can sleep. Uh, we have the two of the rooms for nobles are ready. We're going to need to, the biggest construction focus is going to be on getting the king, uh, a space and make sure all the kings and barons have spaces and the mayors have spaces, that sort of stuff. Because as it turns out, I found out having really cranky nobles over here, having really cranky nobles, the king is probably very livid right now um monarch duchy mayor uh well we don't have any well the do we only have uh, okay i thought we had a uh, the barons that i listed in civilization i thought they were here they're not so we only have three people that's not bad we just need Selab to have a room he has nothing no study he's got no dining room he's got no tomb he's got modest quarters that's not suit fit for a king um and uh so we got to get him positive so that can, people can come and talk to Silla, Moses, or Rigoth and actually have uh, a positive effect. They'll improve the mood as a whole if we can take care of them and their demands and stuff. So that overall will help probably the biggest bang for our buck uh, for the community. So um, let's see. What else are we doing? We have, uh, so this is the housing thing. We'll, we talked about that. We're going to get that sorted out. The smelting will all change with the orders and stuff. This is our uh, jeweler and crafting work for the obsidian crafts that are being uh, done for sale, for export. And our smelters over here now have a bazillion jobs for melt metal objects. Uh, they also have all the steel bars and everything queued up. I'm going to change that. In fact, I'm going to change the orders right now. So one of these guys... What are their orders? If I go to work orders, it says they're allowed five general work orders. This one is allowed five general work orders, and this one seems probably the same. Okay, so this one's going to be allowed to have like 10 general work orders. These ones are going to switch down to having zero general work orders. That's not no work orders. It's none that are brought from the general orders list. Uh, and then in here, we're going to give each of them. We're going to cancel that and cancel that. We have the tetrahedrite ore being done there. That's fine. I'll leave those. We'll cancel everything else. So let them do that one queue. So there's no work order drawing that. It's just a task that's already been assigned. And then in this shop, we're going to do a melt metal objects order. Because remember last time, if you remember back that far, we had a bazillion job orders that we gave them. I want them to uh, amount of melt assigned items. If that is greater than four, uh, if that's greater than nine then i want them to smelt and over here uh if that's greater than nine i want them to do five okay over here same thing work order melt metal objects 
right here. We'll set that to five. And then we'll set an order again that if the melted design designated is greater than nine, then they'll do that. So both of those shops should have separate standing orders for melt metal objects. These are, you can see that they should be assigned specifically to mega, uh, uh, magma smelters instead of uh, use any shops. So this one won't pick that up. This one will keep taking care of the basics of smelting actual uh, raw ore. Whereas these two will focus on the melting projects. Because if you remember our inventory, uh, no, that's not the command. And our inventory, our stocks, who the heck is our stocks again? Um, where's my stocks? A bunch of artifacts. Uh, why do I forget where my stocks list is? Um, I have entirely forgotten my stocks list. Where the heck do I keep my... Okay. Okay. There it is. <laughs> I remembered. That was weird. I just looked down at the keyboard and I'm like, it must be K. Uh, so we've got a bazillion things set to melt here, like a lot of stuff. We went through We went through last time and did a whole lot of things, like even the anvils. Look how many anvils we've got set to smelt. All of those are going to pump out materials. We have 502 items here and 127 set to melt. That is wild. Or that's Maybe that's not set to melt, but that's like... We have 502 armor items, but a lot of them are useless. But we're going to melt it all down with anything we can and get it sorted out. That will be an overabundance of work to do. You can see all them set up here. Uh, and then let's continue the uh, process down. We got our basic ore stockpile here with more housing and our tombs wrapped around here. Mm -hmm. A couple nicer tombs for two of our nobles. Uh, I think this is like Mares and... Who's this? This is Moses. That's the uh, du the Duke, actually. And Rigath. And then I think down a couple more tiles, we have some spots over here that are not yet assigned. They should be, because our king does not have a uh, spot designated, right? And again, we do have to take care of our, our nobles right away. So I think the king's tomb should be this bet one back here. Yep, let's assign this to him. So I can go to... Um, down to our zones, and we can look for a tomb zone. This is not going to be multi. This is going to be one tomb. Boop, that's too far. Um, I want multi set. There you go. Now it'll, it'll outline everything that counts for that and hit OK. Now this one gets assigned to... Uh, the zone itself is going to be assigned to our king. There we go. Now if we let time progress a few ticks... Have a look at our nobles. He now has a mausoleum. He needs a royal mausoleum. Well, at least he's got a mausoleum. Uh, he needs a royal bedroom. He's got a bedroom. We need to get him a uh, dining hall. He needs a throne room for his study. And he needs a royal dining hall for his... A royal dining room for his dining room. So we'll send 10 to those uh, momentarily. I'm not going to get into that project quite yet. We're going to keep scrolling down here. And we're heading down towards the uh, basement here. Uh, through some standard mining. My goodness, there's so much, so much wealth in this place. It's crazy. Look it up here. Our created wealth is 1.3 million. <laughs> Architecture, 150,000. Displayed, 150,000. Held and worn, 125,000. Which reminds me, we need to do a script to, for them to remove excess garbage off their bodies. Weapons, 60,000, 55,000. That's wild. Uh, more native copper, native gold all through the tiles there. Keep going down to our first layer here, which is basically the rodent layer. There's like a bazillion rodent men in here. I don't recall why I am mining this stuff. I'm going to cancel that. I'll leave these mine back here. Um, we have a quadrillion rodent people. There's all those. There's all these. And then we scroll down another layer, and there's these. But this isn't like one. Some of these are multiple versions. That's that's five of them right there. Oh no, that's some necks and skeletons and bones and another person in the cage. These are just piles and piles and piles of these rodent people. They just never stop. So we are going to have to tend to them in a big hyper-aggressive way. On this side, we also have a ton of them uh, outside the gate here that are also entrapped which is fine by me. This was the uh, failed project for our uh, 
for our troglodytes. And I think what we might do eventually a long-term project for this for me would be to turn it into an elk bird uh, farm. Anyways, so lots and lots of crazy going on there. Oh, we have a troglodyte dude still. Are you still trying to climb up? Sure you are. Probably. More troglodytes. Troglodyte vomit all over the blood and Gorlock blood. Oh my goodness. What a mess. That was a very, very big, big failed uh, social project. Um, we have a ton of cave spider silk in here. And if we have the zones properly selected so nobody can work outside them. It's currently paused. But, uh, oh, no, not everyone's assigned. But that's okay. We'll deal with that later. Um, we could actually have our people allowed to collect webs. But they wouldn't be able to leave the area, so they'd be in safety to do that. I think that's a fine choice in the future, but uh, for now, let them... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll let them collect some webs. Let's go back up to the top here. We do have our tail, our weavers. Where's our weaver? Right, uh, that's the loom. That's where we collect them, right? Yes, excellent. Collect webs. Uh, so let's say collect five webs. And uh, do so if... Um, undistributed thread amount of thread um no let's do just five webs every month so do five finish it and then next month check again and do five more if you finish that month you'll you'll keep repeating that's great uh we got a bunch of uh body parts and everything's in here we got skeletons and whatnot uh this thing needs to be uh, activated up here we have a ton of stuff it, ooh, uh, in here that oh, why is it not circling oh there we go over here we have a ton of stuff here and most of it's trash you see all the big x's and small x's we'll deal with more of that in a moment but this is all stuff that we had lined up including a bazillion rodent people that are going to be purged look at that not counting the ones downstairs we have all of those it's just wild these are the ones that are being uh, sacrificed to the godly flame i.e. they're being treated accordingly oh yeah we got some stray dogs there as well that died a bunch of the agitated ravens that have really been the above only above ground threat that we've really been dealing with is them oh that's right we did we put the Etten in a cage right at the door just to scare people um and uh what is this uh oh it's a construct being constructed cage huh i'm gonna cancel that because i'm not quite sure what i was doing with it and i don't want to do that leave him there um so this needs to be pulled the lever on this needs to be pulled go to that lever like this select it pull lever make that happen right away and then over here we need to get this lever pulled again which is connected to the this is called the obsidian bridge uh this will now be called the atom smasher it's our trash compactor there we go. Now that it is linked to the Atom Smasher, excellent. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this lever to bring it back up because it has been pulled. So it has to go back up and then we'll use the dump pile there to uh, dump all those things. I'm going to pause that dump pile and I'm going to look for any other dump piles here. We're going to also pause that dump pile. Excellent. This is what? This is a... Oh, it's a barracks. Right. Because we can do training out there to keep them, uh, keep them from getting foggy underground brains. Just looking around for any other trash piles that I may have done. That is an animal training pen or spot. Uh, I don't think we that's a water source there. I'm looking around for uh, trash spots. What is this? Oh, it's a sand collection point. Mm hmm. Nothing up here that is dump piles. Looks like we're safe. Okay, back down underneath. We'll scan for those as well. Uh, I don't know. Did I did I have some set that I was getting rid of, like throwing stuff rocks into the into the hall or any of that sort of stuff? We had one here. This is a stockpile, actually. Uh, okay. I don't think I wanted that. That's a slate stockpile. We were just removing slate from this. Yes, we were. Okay, I'm gonna remove this thing entirely. Do the stockpile. Delete it. It warns you when you go to delete stuff now. With the, with the DF hack. It's great. Great fun. Um, let's also check for... Uh, I need this on, actually. Let's check for any other spots. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're here. I think we might put uh, the nobles... Let's say we put them... Where are we going to have them? Are we going to go down a tile? No, we'll go up a tile from here. And we'll put one in here and one in here... And here 
One, two, three. So we have three big noble spaces that we can do. So that will be today's uh, other focus. We'll go down low here and we'll hit the uh, caverns here. Uh, I have to do a project out here eventually to deal with this in a way that's much more aggressive, traps them more effectively, and uh, hopefully something that actually cleans out the... Um, cleans out these guys for good without having so much work for us. We'll see about that. There are auto dump storage piles and, that and stuff now so with the DF hack. So, for instance, we could have our uh, our second atom smasher. This is to be to be the basement smasher. Um, it's going to be here. Is that a smart choice? I kind of want it behind a wall somewhere, more safely stored. But mm. yeah, I'm going to cancel this. Because this is uh, in process. I want him to stop that. I want to put one in here. Let's go ahead and readjust this. We're going to get rid of all these rodents inside. Uh, let's go here and paint out this beauty. Get rid of it. Uh, and that far. And then what I'll do is I'll put in a wall here. Um, like this far. And it can be any material. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Any uh, blocks that are nearby. Actually, these can all... Hold on. These are... Um, I had the obsidian nearby, didn't I? Didn't I have obsidian blocks? We'll do this. Actually, let's do it like that. Basalt blocks, that's right. And that. And then I want to build a lever. And put that lever up here. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Build a lever again, and I'm going to go with planner mode and uh, right there. Good. Now, it, it'll make it out of whatever. I don't care, uh, but I need to... It will place it once it has the materials. So then I'm going to load this up this way and put in another Atom Smasher right there. Um, you know what? Cancel that. I want it to be made of basalt. I want it to close up. You can see the little gears. Maybe you can see them at that point. Basalt bridge there. And this one, when it's named, will be called the Lower Atom Smasher. <laughs> uh, all right. The other thing is we've got a lot of cages that are going to get it, need to go away that are metal cages. So I want to get rid of all the metal cages. They're heavy and they're not necessary. But um, we'll deal with all the rest of that. So, wait. Why do we have caged cats? Why do I have caged cats? That's not cool. Um, hmm. Do we have a uh, zone here? This is a... What? Pen pasture. Okay, I want cats that are in cages to be out of cages. Um, control T. You have hack assign. Aha! Okay, I haven't done this one before. But... Let's see. Egg layers, grazers... Um, can I just do cat? Yeah, there you go. In stock pal cage domesticated cats. I don't know where we got those, but I want them out. They'll just assign them and then they'll, um, they'll, so they'll come out of the cages and then they'll be left alone. That's fine. We got all these cave spiders around. We might as well have cave spider silk being made. All right. What else needs to urgently be done? Uh, for security uh, reasons, we have this closed. Did we build it all the way up? No, we did not actually finish building this all the way up. So this still doesn't have full uh, security there. So this is the um, this is the point where it secures right up here. Yeah, so this one is attached to the trog gate. And I think we'll just let that be closed, eh? I don't really see any use in fussing over those right now. So let's do that. Let's find the trog gate switch and close that. And yes, it's open right now, so the next flip will close it. And I'm going to actually go ahead and lock this door. Forbid that door. So that door is forbidden. This door is forbidden. This cage is, uh, gate's open, but nothing's breaking through that door right now. All closed up, all closed up, and this is the other way out is also closed up. Okay, so we're secured inside, and we have a bazillion things to do. 
We'll get this done to get rid of these rodents at some point. We have, do have our farms. I forgot to mention that. We've got our uh, our farms down here, which are pigtails in the summer. And uh, up here we have plump helmets. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, pigtail one is doing dimple cups, huh? Yeah, when they have seeds. Uh, they could do some uh, sweet pods. That'd be, that'd be not a terrible thing. Add some sweet pods in there. I think we're good there on that point, though. Uh, uh, yes, the lower log pile, which we also haven't stocked. Because that's now entirely close to the outside world. I'm okay with this. Alright, back up to the top, and let's see about getting some uh, things progressing. I'm thinking we gonna, we're going to bring down the speed. We're going to bring it down to like 30 FPS for now. And let that run. I'll intentionally slow it down so I can see what's going on. Uh, Alright. Things progressing. Are we flipping these there? We just flipped that switch. Lovely. This is the this one here. The offering bridge can be flipped again. So all that stuff went under. And uh, happy day. All those things are gone away. Now if anybody was stupid enough to run out there, then I guess they're gone too. But I'm pretty sure there weren't. <laughs> but you can pause it and check. <laughs> I hope we didn't just dump somebody down the down the uh, into the godly flame. If if we did, hopefully it was somebody who was really cranky <laughs> and didn't have any family members, because that would be rough if we did that. So literally forty five minutes of walking through and reanalyzing where everything is. Now I understand some people are like, "Oh, that's crazy! Why are you spending so much time?" It needs to be done. It just needs to be done. Uh, and the game just crashed. Seriously. Wait, are you for real right now, game? Oh, no, hey, it's back. Oof. It, it said uh, program not responding twice. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close, pull this lever again. Uh, let's look down, see what, what do we got. Lava mist. Oh, cool. Things, uh, things splattering all over. All right, let's see if there's any uh, remnant of that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at all the remnants. Uh, so these, these rodent people will be... I cannot actually target them anymore. That's fine. Look at all that stuff. Just a melting away. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bad guys. Don't bring your friends back. That's what happens to you. All right. Uh, we'll bring that. put that bridge back up at some point. Are you guys in the training? Yeah. You are being stationed. We will take care of the military probably starting next time. What are you doing? Store item in stockpile. What are you storing? What are you storing? Tell me you're not storing the Etten somewhere. Oh no, you're moving something else. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful opening that we've got there. What a lovely opening to our fortress on the floor level. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Let's tend to that. I'm going to tell them to remove those ones. And then uh, that one as well. And I'm pretty sure we can get up there from elsewhere, right? Maybe not. Uh, let's not remove all of them yet, then. Let's leave that one. Those two there. Uh, and then what I want to do is build a wall. Uh, L. Right in here, and we'll do gold bars for that. Gold bars. Lovely. That'll at least close that immediately free access opening. Okay. All right, let's uh, continue on. Things are buzzing. Things are, people are moving. Lots of stuff is going to be happening. Uh, beekeeper. Really? You became a beekeeper? I didn't know, didn't remember us having bees. Uh, okay, thread, spinning thread. Masterpieces. King's mandate has ended. Became a rooster. Spring has arrived and made a new recruit. Now, I want to check this. One of the things that matters here is our, um, yes, construct building could not path. Could not path, could not path. Constructing cage trap 12 times. That was the guys going down to the southeast in the basement there. So that was all these guys going down here to try to set these cage traps. That's okay with me. Um... I'm going to leave these resumed, but they're going to be out of range, so nobody will be able to queue them up, because nobody will be able to path to them. Which is totally fine. Yeah, see, that's what they were doing. They were resetting those cages, and I'm okay with not having those set right now. Because it's not a priority job. 
There's, an, there's a few of them up here in the little tile. That's great. Let's keep that going. Clear that, and I'll see what other messages come up. Need steel bars. Okay. Uh, need steel bars. Need steel bars. That's They're just throwing those cues one after another. Animal slaughtering has begun. Excellent. Oh, more stuff is melting down to the basement. More steel bars. That's fine. Yeah, all these things are just going to keep... Oh, there's less and less of them. Yeah. There's less things in the list. We go down here and they're just getting passed by us. Yeah, some of them are still burning. That's weird. Very strange that we can't... Uh... Hmm. I don't know why we can't see what's there, but... It's, defi it's definitely melting down. Uh, what else? The steel bar thing is going to be repeating, repeating, repeating. So I want to go one level up from this and put... Um... No, we'll go to this level. It's all slate. Okay, I think we'll just mine this whole thing out to start with, and then we'll reform it accordingly. So let's do that. Um, how far up did we go for this? <coughs> to here. If I go up to the top level. Uh, at the smelter. No, we'll go to this level. Okay. And I'm going to mine all this out. Uh, Well, I guess I'll actually mine everything. So let's mine this whole thing out. And I want the whole thing gone, and then we'll smooth... We'll replace it with built structures. Probably like fancy gold stuff or something ridiculous. Because why not? Uh, and that one can be removed. Good. Let's mine that all out. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a priority that they take on right away. Yeah, somebody's on it. Good. Uh, did they take the assignment for all the beds? Let's see if any beds have been delivered yet. There's a door delivered there. That's interesting. And again, we can do the building doors with the DF hack. And... Uh-huh. The vile force of darkness has come. And it is what? Goblins. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many people are outside, but we don't want them outside now. Because I don't have the warriors to handle this, I don't think, right now. I think what we'll do is we'll activate the the space here. I actually need to repaint these ones out. Uh, repaint the burrow? Yes, there we go. Remove this space and this space from the burrow. That's good. Okay. Uh, indoor limited. I want everybody in this. Entirely everybody. 139 of our 138 population. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just not going to argue about it. We'll activate it. And then what we'll do, we're under siege mode. Petitions, huh? The big deceiver wishes to parlay in order to prevent loss of life. Uh, we will uh, deny. Thank you. Vile Force of Darkness approaches. Uh, that's not good. <clears throat> uh, store item interrupted. That's what I need to see. Oh my god, what are you doing? Is that you were actually up there, were you? Okay. I'm going to pause and unpause quickly. Um, there's no agitated raven thing up there, so let's remove those. Back to the doorway. Uh, our, our military squads, let's grab them all and make sure they cancel their orders. Actually, we can station these military guys in here. Can everybody move inside? That would be lovely. What are you doing? Remove stairs and ramps. Um... No, you're going to cancel that order, sir. Why do you have... Why do you currently have orders that are like that? Let's let's check out our tasks and get them to remove any active tasks that we don't want them doing. Uh, I'm actually going to... This is removing, removing, removing. Pause. So I'm going to remove all active tasks. 
Um, this is building constructions that are paused. That's fine. Pause, pause, pause. We're just going to re actively remove these. That stops them. That doesn't let them finish their, their task. That way they, uh, they will turn around and head back to doing the next thing they wanted to do, which in this case is going to be to, and, and do this indiscriminately, but which is going to be to uh, follow the... Uh, what is it? The burrow orders. They should, after this, go to burrowing. Now, if there's anybody that's failed, that's been interrupted, that has some sort of glitch with an inventory item that they can't stock, we should get a big message for that. He still went and did it anyways. What a jerk. <laughs> Drink dangerous terrain, huh? You having troubles getting through there? What a silly guy. Get up and out of there, man. All right, let's see if we can get everybody inside so we can close things up. Cats, I'm not that concerned about, but the war of setting out is a bad idea. All right, now I don't know for sure that we've got everybody. But I do know for sure that we're going to not want to deal with these nasties right away. So, um, he has, the king has banned exports. Yes, yes, I get you. As long as that's in here that that's happening, I'm okay with it. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and pull the lever. From the front door. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, don't pull it until the surgeon's out of the way. Phew. Somebody pulling the lever? Where are you going, man? Where are you going? Storing an item in a bag. Okay, that's fine. What are you? Oh, oh no. The lever's been pulled. Oh, no. Neville! Oh! Oh, my God! He just got stunned. Hardcore. Oh, no. I, got, I thought you were inside already. Okay, we gotta wait for him to stand up and get out of the way. Melville. Melville, my man. Did you just get your shirt knocked off you? You did. It's a damaged one. That's okay. Uh, which group is... Oh, Melville. Is that you? Yep, that's you. Um, I would like uh, Melville to move. Um, well, I know I'm going to rem change these, so I'm going to actually I'm gonna change up the squads. I'm going to try to save Melville here before we end this. Yes. <laughs> Oops! Back to the squad. This is the Risk Bastion. This is Melville running the Risk Bastion. I want him by himself to move over to here. Uh, let's uh, station him down here for the moment. If he's able to move, good. Now we're going to pull this lever urgently. So so much for your, uh, your previous uh, spider silk tunic that you got blasted off your body. Mm, pull the lever, pull the lever. It's not been pulled yet. Somebody's standing right there and has not pulled it. There, it's pulled. Good. As soon as that crashes down, we send Melville moving. Go, Melville, go. Melville's fighting. Oh, yeah, that's the message from him getting smacked. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, do we have any issues here that are causing problems? And with a sector, cancel construction, dangerous. No problem. Cancel construction, cannot reach site. You're inside? I hope so. If not, we're in trouble. All right, Melville. Please survive this, man. Melville the Brave. Uh, let's get you to position. Why is it not unpausing? What? Oh, cancel. I've got I've got him queued up. There you go. Uh, you're going to move inside now. See if we can do this. <laughs> uh, Mandate construction certain goods by McLean. Okay. Are the bad guys coming yet? More of them. Cavern dwellers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're just coming at us from all edges, ends, guys. All sides. All right, now we're going to activate the bridge, and thankfully, 
Uh, Melbel minus cat. Everybody should be inside. Come on. You can do it, man. Somebody pull that lever. Somebody pull the lever before anybody goes outside. And close. Alright. My gosh, look at them all. Oh, that's right. We had a... Had a forgotten bees down here that the rodent people killed um does it say who it was killed defeated by i guess not eh there's a way to check that in uh df hack i have not gotten into that yet but look at that there's just they're just swarming all over the place one more uh, thing before we go we're going to look at what's actually sitting out here with creatures uh we got our citizen stack that's fine uh pets livestock oh actually what i want to do is now go ahead and deactivate this because i think the hold on let's check the front gate first front gate is closed up there isn't any knowing uh, as far as i know there's no way out of the fortress if there is then we're all doomed uh we will resume uh let everybody go back to work now and then we'll just undo the we'll just open the gate when time when the time comes there's the goblins we can follow these guys for a bit but I think they are just going to hang out out there, are they? Or maybe they'll head they'll keep heading down towards the doors. That's fine if they do. I hope they do. A bunch of them will get trapped. Yeah, there they go. If they try to get to the doors, they'll get trapped. Oh, look. <laughs> Cyril, you you go, Cyril. <laughs> look at this. He's a crossbow steel bolt crossbow wolf. He's shooting through there at them. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Cyril. All right, where's our other our other uh, breach shield? Uh, no, the the bolts of taming and the anvils of taming. The bolts, yeah, the bolts and anvils. You guys are gonna go station right here. Actually, I'll have one of you cancel. I'll have one of you station here. No, the other one of you station right here. <laughs> Let's see if this uh, works at all. Oh, they're gonna. Apparently, they're gonna go fight the. Uh... <laughs> I love that he's shooting at them from there. Do you even have a crossbow? Yes, you do. You have bolts. All working great. That's awesome. Apparently, they're gonna take try to attack some land-based creatures. That's great. You gonna come back to the doors, are you? Mm-hmm. I'd like to see you try. I like that they took that out, though. How many of them are there? Right, I need to end this. I was going to go to the creatures here. Uh, okay, so we we looked over our citizens. We have lots of them. Dead and missing, we also have lots of that. But, <clears throat> what is this guy? Oh, Cobalt Thief. Um, we have others. We have a caged guest. <laughs> I love it. It's called a guest. Um, troglodytes. A couple of them caged still. Some wild uh, birds. That's fine. I don't care about the troglodytes that much right now. Uh, we will uh, basically atom smash any of these that we don't want to keep anymore. The caged. Anywhere it says caged, we don't care. I'm not caring about them. What we're looking at is uh, invaders. Uh, agitated buck hair. Really? Okay. There we go. A bug bat. Look at that. We got some bug bats. Agitated raven. Right. We could train those and send them back out at the enemy. That's funny. All right. We got some invaders. Those are the uh, rodent people. We still have so many of these to take care of. Lots and lots and lots of them. More prisoners that are all caged. There's the invaders. Those are the basement invaders still. Look at them. All. That's a lot of them running around down there. These are the go the goblin uh, invaders. Okay. Uh, if I actually switch to by name, no, not by name. I want by profession. So these are the goblin invaders. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six of them as crossbows. Axemen, goblin axemen, swordsmen, macemen. These are caged prisoner invaders. Look at them all. <clears throat> they brought a force. A force indeed. Goblin bowmen. 
Those are humans, but those humans are caged already from previous events. Lashers. Lashers and goblin. Oh, that's caged thieves. Caged guests. Wild animals. So they've got a couple dozen of them, that's for sure. We'll see what they do with this in the next episode, but they're going to have to try to get through our fortifications somehow, and there is no way for them to come in. So we might actually open this door at some point uh, to allow try to allow them to come in and, and cause some grief long enough to run them past some cages. But we'll see. We can't. We don't have this fully closed off, so I don't have gates yet here uh, to potentially close that at any point. Um, but we'll see what happens with them. There's definitely... Oh, more, more, more file forces of darkness still? Jeepers. We got, look at that. Hold on. Look at that thing right there. What's over here? That is the corpse of a, of a forgotten beast. What's, uh, what's over here? Wasn't there another one I thought I saw? No, that was just a blot in the, in the wall. But there is, there was a previous one as well that was killed. There is so much cleanup to do, so much work to do. Uh, uh, oh, masterpieces have been lost, eh? Oh, no. Oh, I bet you it's the cages. Yeah, that's not cool. Masterpieces of Solon, lost times nine. Rimtar, lost times nine. So Solon, is is Solon going to deal with a, an even more upset? Let's go with, uh, let's find Solon. And see if that registers as, like, depression for him. Solon, where are you, my friend? That's Solon, our uh, carpenter. Yeah, that's cages being lost. Dwelling upon suffering a travesty of art defacement. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. That's not cool that the cages get. Yeah, okay, so throwing them in the volcano makes them actually visibly disappear. Adam smashing them will avoid that. So we will stop using this for um, for things that are caged because it's just not going to... It's it's going to absolutely spiral our, our legendary dudes that make those masterpieces into complete oblivion. Um, this is... Oh, yes. Cyril shooting at them. Nice. Copper bolt is lodged firmly in the wound. <laughs> Oh, I love it. He was just a blazing away at them. Flying bolt strikes the cobble. The oh wait 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 wait. Uh, flying bolt strikes the cobalt. I don't know why this is purple. We didn't get shot at, as far as I could see. Striking the cobalt thief. Militia commander, I must withdraw. Flag bolt strikes the goblin crossbowman, bruising the middle spine. Strikes the goblin crossbowman, strikes another one. An axeman, two hits to axeman, the fourth hit to the crossbowman there. Five, six. He hit like a lot of times there. That's awesome. That's great. Anybody else? Uh, the ravens that they're fighting, that's okay. Yeah, so those guys, uh, those guys got, they, they came to the gate and then he started shooting them from right here. This is fantastic. Our archers are going to have fun with that. Our, our, our um, cross bolts are going to fly. So uh, we'll uh, continue next time with uh, some more fun. Uh, had to do a time through a walkthrough review uh, for myself and for you guys, as well as the uh, alert that we are. Don't be alert uh, that we are um, using DF hack now. So that should help me manage things much more efficiently, especially once I start getting into changing out the work orders in a way like that other one that we just did. Uh, but if we're doing uh, work orders in the future and militia stuff in the future, that will be much, much better going forward. So we'll see how these uh, this vile forces in the above and below where we're besieged by both both below and, and above and both of them need to die horribly. We will not let the last bastion of Dwarven uh, of the, the Palace of Stabling fall. No, indeed. We're back. We're going to continue more. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. We'll see you in game.